Hi, it's I Bam, and we're doing the review of Ash Prime slash Ash Pertival, like we did much with Loki and Loki Prime. Let's look at um, how Ash scales to his regular variant at level 30. Okay, he has more shield and more armor, so he doesn't have any additional power or health, which is perfectly fine. <clears throat> okay, now let's get into Ash. Also, I just want to point out Funny, I would mention Loki considering that Loki and Ash are in the community more or less rivals because, well, you'll see. His first ability, Shuriken. I'll be honest, I hardly ever use Shuriken. Um, Shuriken, base damage 500, um, two shurikens, um, there's a mod play that apparently makes it so shuriken can go through armor. The second one is smokescreen. It, invisibility, it grants ash invisibility, which is pretty cool, and with no mod, the duration is 8 seconds. Now, it says power range because it obscures the enemy's vision as well. The third one is teleport. Ash brings a teleport, I mean, teleports to a target. Um, and makes the enemy vulnerable to finishers. Its power range is 60 by default. And then we have Bladestorm, which is a personal favorite of just about everyone. That's what makes Ash Ash, if you will. He goes on a rampage, teleporting and destroying nearby enemies. Him and I believe two of his clones come and do so much damage. I'm going to give you a quick, quick, super quick glimpse of my build just so I can show you guys the stats with it. This is only my current build. It's subject to change. But, yeah. I think you can see some pretty good stats here. I don't really use Smoke Bomb a lot. I use Blade still more, to be honest. A lot of people, I think, use Blade still more. But, yeah. Anyway, the reason he's a competitor to Loki, Loki goes invisible, he goes invisible. They're both ninjas, space ninjas, in their own Right. Although, I'll be honest, I consider Loki as more of a regular ninja and Ash more of an assassin. assassin. I know they both could be classified in the same category, but I just feel like Ash is an assassin. They both have their ups and downs. They're both good warframes. Honestly, I think I may be Team Ash, but don't tell Loki, okay? Okay, yeah. So, yeah, but altogether, Loki isn't bad at all. Ash isn't bad at all. They both have their strengths and weaknesses, and I am going to, I suppose, in the video. They both have their mods that you can equip to them and whatnot. So, yeah, like I believe Ash has one so you can make your teammates invisible with you. 
which is pretty cool. So, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to end the video now. That is my small review on Ash Prime slash regular Ash. Um, so, yeah. Now, is he better than Loki? You decide. You decide. Is he a useful warframe? He's very useful. He goes and sorties a lot. High level missions, a lot of people love to have him. So yeah, later.